What's up guys? We got another great video for you today. We're going to show you a few of our new genes that we'll be working with. And uh, this video is brought to you by Herpetological Conservation International. So HCI, we'll put the link down in the description below. Make sure you guys check them out. They're a wonderful, awesome organization. And uh, they're really trying to help out the conservation of reptiles and different things. And we'll get a close above their uh, sticker that we have. But stay tuned, you're gonna see some really awesome animals. So we're looking at some of the new genes that we have going on here. And this is the Mario we got from Justin Kabelka. And uh, unfortunately he's in shed, but we're trying to catch all the, the new genes that we got going on uh, that we're working with. So the Mario gene, this is a Mario 100% het desert ghost. And um, we are looking at some of those different things. So it's a very clean pattern. It's a reduced alien heads on the mouth, on the face if you can see it. He has um, little dots along his lips, if you can see that. And then on his belly, you see it's all white, but it has this checkered stripe down the middle. I don't know if you're catching that. Catching it. And uh, he has a bit of flames, right? She. She. Sorry, this is a female. There's a bit of flames up the sides. And let's see if we can get a. This one just happens to be a pretty feisty snake. But so the Mario gene is fairly new, not terribly common out there, and uh, beautiful. And this is a het desert ghost. So we're really excited about her. We're going to be breeding her into uh, obviously desert ghost stuff. And the Mario desert ghost, if you saw on Justin's video, just an unbelievable animal. So we're excited to be working with the Mario gene. The next gene that we got that we're working with that's new, and you guys probably haven't seen this one on our YouTube, but you might have noticed it on Instagram, which by the way, uh, if you don't follow us on Instagram, go check us out. We try to post things every day, and uh, you guys can really communicate more with us there than you can here on YouTube. But uh, we showed this boy out. This is the Voodoo from Bob Vu. Um, it is a bit darker, has this real busy pattern here where it's uh, real pixelated along the belly. Get some curly cues going. The alien heads have these big open holes. The belly is really dirty. And this boy just ate, so I'm being real gentle with him. But uh, they also have this tail stripe here. This seems to be that they all, the voodoos have along the dorsal and you can just see how dark and contrasty it is but it's an amazing animal we're really excited to be working with them and this is from Bob Vu from Bob Vu's balls <laughs> just kidding pop he didn't call it popcorn this is popcorn Ryan calls it popcorn so this is from Bob's balls and this boy is awesome looking and uh, hopefully we're gonna allow him to do the voodoo that he does it doesn't work that way <clears throat> go do the voodoo that you do so well no nope, that's not how it goes now go to that voodoo that you do so well <laughs> Awesome. Proven, awesome opportunity for us and it's a genetic, male. Right? Proven genetic. Two proven years genetic. Ago. Yep. Don't so, know if there's a super yet, but maybe. Yeah, Bob is probably gonna produce a super this year, hopefully. And uh, we'll find out more about it as it goes. But he'll be breeding for us probably next season. Maybe really late this season. But he's getting big quick. So uh, yeah, excited about this one. So uh, one of the projects that we've been wanting to get into for a really long time is the Sunset Project. Now you know that could be a little pricey and we're pretty poor here at R&B Reptiles. So, empty pockets. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
It's a relatively new recessive gene, so recessives tend to be more expensive than codoms, or as some people like to say, incomplete dominance. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> um, so these are a little bit more expensive, but um, a friend of ours uh, ended up producing a clutch from a head to head. So he had some 66% head sunsets available. So we were able to pick up a normal 66% head sunset. He actually produced a vigil from this uh, pairing. So we know that the gene is there. And that's a male. That's a male. And then we have this butter female. That's also 66% head sunset. But here's the thing that's really kind of interesting to me is this is another butter female, 66% head sunset. And you can see very clearly the color difference. And I don't know if there are visual cues for uh, the sunset gene. Uh, sometimes you can have a, what they would call a visual hat where it just looks a little different if it's a hat um, in different genes. So if there is something for that, for sunset, I'm not sure, but these are really different looking animals with the same genetics. So it'd be interesting to see how that works out. If you were gonna guess and bet, which one of you, these do you think would prove out? The lighter or the darker? Lighter or darker, comment down below. Look at those sides. That's such a pretty animal. So real quick, I have a question for you. Uh, we were thinking about doing a live stream or a podcast style uh, as an additional video, like maybe once a month or something. If that's something you guys would be interested in seeing, uh, let us know because we do have to invest a little bit in some software and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, we don't want to do that if you're going to be bored. But we're going to try to get cool people on and cool guests and talk about animals and whatever else we feel like, I guess. Right, Ben? <laughs> That's right, Ryan. Yes. So let us know if you want to do that. Also, March Tinley is just around the corner. It's like three weeks away. We're going to see you there. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> we got our first clutch of the season. Um, you may have seen it over on Instagram, but this is a female Enchi Mojave that we've had. She's laid a couple of uh, clutches for us and she laid a clutch this season um, and we'll put I'll show you the male that was with her it's actually not it's pretty exciting uh, pairing for us you know how much we love the Arroyo project so we produced this GHI Royal Fire several years ago and this is his first season breeding and uh, we put him to her because GHI Mojaves are awesome. I don't know if you know what they look like, but maybe Ben could drop a pic in here real quick, show you. Then if you stack fire and Arroyo on top of it, I think it's gonna be really impressive. So, and Enchi too, so. Yeah. That's gonna be cool. <laughs> show the eggs. I'm gonna show you some eggs. So here's the clutch. We got four eggs. This one though, I kind of think is infertile. When I candled it, I didn't really see veins in it. And as you can see now, there's a tiny bit of mold growing on it. So we have our fingers crossed that, you know, something will happen here, but more than likely, we only have three eggs out of this litter. Clutch. Uh, clutch, sorry. Out of this clutch. So, but we'll definitely uh, keep you posted and we're ready to cut these and see what's going on in there. We'll take you with us. So talk about the heartache that you felt when you saw the eggs. So it was a little bit of a bummer because she was huge. And I expected it to be a huge clutch of eggs. And we had four slugs that came along with it. So if all of these were fertile and everything was good, we'd have eight eggs in this clutch. It looks like probably we're only gonna have three at the end of it all. So that kind of sucks, but these are gonna be awesome animals, so it's gonna be fine. I'm it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> it's 
going to be great. I don't know who needs to hear this. It's going to be great. <laughs> so this is a Super Pastel Fire Calico Hidden Gene Walma. It's a female, one of two that we produced. We've been growing up. Very beautiful animals. We're still like very much in love with the Hidden Gene Walma gene. And when you mix all these things together, especially we're gonna try to get like, if we got Enchi into this and Yellow Belly. And Orange Dream. Cause these flames you see down here start getting like really red and orange. Like you saw that one we produced earlier this year that we uh, did the egg that we sold to Michael Ross. Mike Ross. And uh, so we're really excited about taking that route with it. Um, if we can get that into a clown, that'd be awesome. <laughs> but yeah, this this little lady. And who and are we pairing her to? This kind of still up in the air. She's a little light. Um, she's probably well, you know she's probably eleven fifty or twelve hundred grams right now. Um, we haven't really dialed that in, but we're gonna put her. What do you think, Ben? Hmm. I'm not sure. I really want other stuff hmm I think uh, there's a Triton stuff in there actually but I like putting recessive in there you can see how this almost looks like an eraser got taken down the spine of these um, these I, are both the same genes we got our I don't want to get involved in any controversy or anything but we got our stuff uh, our hidden gene Wilma stuff from Kevin McCurley uh, with the fader gene he has going on in his collection and I don't know what a single gene fighter gene looks like, but uh, these things are kind of faded. So I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know, man. But they're beautiful either way. Comment below of what you think we should breed them to. Oh, you are just about to shed. She's shedding right now. If you can look really close up on her nose, you can see her lip is coming up so she's just about to shed but this is a Hyperion which is a super pastel calico fire that we produced and you can see her sheds just coming off right here she's like literally within the next 10 minutes gonna be have brand new skin but um, there's almost no pattern on the snake when it hatched out it was almost completely white and we really got kind of freaked out because we were like, nothing in this pairing should make a white snake. And then at shed after shed after shed, she started growing color. And you can see these little, almost like paradoxing coming in. But yeah, so that kind of like faded, blown out pattern kind of thing that you see in the siblings over there, um, kind of carrying through. So at the very least, there's something genetic about it. Good. Mail time. So just gonna use a little one of these guys, you know. Ben said we gotta be fancy. It's real fancy. This is from. It doesn't say. We'll check it out on the inside. Let's see this. Ooh. Oh snap! What is that, Ben? It's thanks. This is. Mary Python and the Holy Balls. Yeah. <laughs> We've been talking back and forth on Instagram. She's uh, it's really cool. Hold still. <laughs> there we go. Mary Python and the Holy Balls. Hi. Thank you so much for the swap. I hope you have an amazing year. I look forward to watching your journey. Warmest wishes, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Yeah, and her daughter designed those. And uh, did she? Yeah. This one is from Pandemonium Reptiles. Pandemonium Reptiles. It's yeah. Pandemonium. I requested this because their sticker was so cool. Check like, that out. Yeah, got it. Pandemonium Reptiles. Those are awesome. Thanks. Guys. Looks like a panda. I really like that one a lot. The last one was a good play on Monty Python and the Holy Crow. I mean, there's some I really creative stickers out there. Yeah. 
Fighter. <laughs> Pretty fancy. This one is from Raider Reptiles. Wow. These are nice. Yep. Check that out. I can't. Say, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're saying I can't. I don't know. I was going to say I can't say anything about their football team, but. Uh, hey, no politics. That's, a <laughs> that's politics. And we got this one all the way from South Florida. We got ourselves. A <laughs> really big honey. It's a you shouldn't have gotten a 6x Southeast Carbon Fest 2020. This thing is huge. The heck is going on? What did I wear? Thanks. Maybe it'll shrink in the wash. It'll keep you warm in the winter. Carpet Fest 2020. What up? Southeast Carpet Fest. Can't make it there this year, but well, this time around, this time around. Only once a year, right? Thanks so much, guys, for the mail. It's awesome. And uh, like Ben always says, if you didn't get a sticker from us yet and you sent us one, text them 856 649 3149 anytime, day or night. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us and for watching our videos. If you haven't done it already, hit the subscribe button so you guys can check out our other videos when they come out. Also, you can hit that bell icon so you know when we post things. Uh, and if we do podcasts in the future, you'll see that pop up for you. Also, if you like this video, give it a little like. It really helps us out, lets us know what uh, you guys are into. And make sure that you guys check out HCI because they're a great organization. And um, yeah, we really enjoyed uh, being a member with them and they're really cool. So make sure you like them. And uh, yeah, we'll be seeing you at Tinley, March Tinley. That's right. Why can't I dance? Why are you shaking your head? You gotta hold the camera still, right? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Thanks. <laughs> what? Why, why are you shaking your head? <laughs>
outro, right? Would it be cool if I was like laying down no. and being like, meow, 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 meow. no? Nope. <clears throat>